we give you the facts, it's not what you think. Papa Newsling, Young King, One Yard, bless. Good morning, Papa. Grandma watch Papa's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So we are still in the parish of St. Anne. We are heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. And did you know that it's quite possible that the parish of St. Anne is the site of the earliest human inhabitation of Jamaica? Yaman Taino settlements from as early as 600 AD have been found in the parish of St. Anne. And did you know that before Spanish Town and Kingston, a place in St. Anne was the first capital of Jamaica? The Spanish name is Sevilla La Nueva or New Seville. Yaman in the parish of St. Anne. That was the first capital of Jamaica. So continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now in the news today, on Thursday, September 8, 2022, about 7.30 in the morning, a hard working gentleman, he's in his early 60s and he's a steel man by trade. He securely locked up his two apartment bordeaux at Buck Hatfield in the parish of Westmoreland and he went away to work. He finished working and returned home about 2 o'clock in the afternoon the same day. When he reached home, he noticed that a glass window to the side of his house was smashed out. He made further checks and he found out that his house was broken into and ransacked. The hoodlum who broke into the house, in teeth out all of the grocery that this hard-working man had bought the previous day. He also stole a silver fashion watch, cologne, ear clipper, even some coins that the man was saving. The little piece of nastiness, him teeth them. A report was made to the police and an investigation launched, but the intelligencers, they were upset because this man, him worked too hard for him things, for this little piece of nastiness, just come teeth them so. So the intelligencers, they passed on the intelligence to the police and yesterday, Friday, September 9th, 2022, the Westmoreland Police. Acting on that intelligence, they carried out a raid at a house where this little piece of nastiness live in a neighboring community named Strathbogey and Bingo. In this little piece of nastiness house, the police, they found the fashion watch, the cologne, the hair clipper and some of the food. The items, they were subsequently identified by the man whose house they were stolen from and the little piece of nastiness. He was officially charged by the police. He was charged for housebreaking and larceny. Now, this little piece of nastiness name is Steve McBean. He's popularly known as Becker. He's said to be about 26 years old. Young, trunk-tone man. He live at Strapbogey in the parish of Westmoreland. So, Becker, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. Now, we carried a story on Friday, September 2, and we told you about an incident that took place on Wednesday night, August 31, 2022, almost midnight. We told you that three men, they were traveling in a grey 2014 Nissan AD wagon motor car. They were driving along Alman Tree Road at Garden District in the White House Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. It is alleged that when they reached a certain section of the road, they were intercepted by a motorcycle with two men on it. We are told that one of the men, he was allegedly known as Koto and the other one, he was known as Sandman. It is reported that Sandman, who was the pillion on the bike, he pulled a gun from his waistband and pointed it at the car. The driver for the car, he managed to drive off and it is said that Sandman, he opened gunfire at this car. Luckily, no one was injured. We also told you that Sandman and Cutter, they were wanted by the police. Well, yesterday, Friday, September 9th, 2022, the Westmoreland police, they carried out a raid at Garden District in the parish of Westmoreland where both Cotto and Sandman, they were picked up. They were subsequently charged for the offences of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. Now, their correct names are Javon 
Faster. He's popularly known as Koto. He's only 20 years old. The other one, his correct name is Santino Brown. He's also known as Sandman. He's 22 years old. Now, both of them are living at Garden District in White House in the parish of Westmoreland. So, they have both been charged for the offences of shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm. And they will be going to the courts shortly where their case will be adjudicated on. Now, this next incident, it took place at a store on Barnett Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. At this store, they sell clothes, shoes and other stuff like that. It took place yesterday afternoon, Friday, September 9th, 2022, about some minutes after 5 o'clock. Now, we are learning that the manager for the store and three members of staff, that's two males and two females, they were at work in the store when four hoodlums posing as customers, they entered the store. It is said that three of the hoodlums, they brandished guns and the other one, he brandished a knife. They then instructed the staff to lay down on their belly. The hoodlums, they then searched them and robbed from them cellular phones, cash, jewelry and other items. They also opened the cash register and stole the day's seal from it. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Now, less than an hour later, a man, we are told that he's a radiologist. He and his friends, they were sitting in his yard at Upton Road in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It is said that a hoodlum entered the yard. He brandished a gun and he proceeded to rob this man of over 50,000 Jamaican dollars in cash. He also robbed the man's friend of his cellular phone. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape in nearby bushes in the area. Boy, may I tell you. Now, this incident, it took place last night, Friday, September 2, 2022, about 8 o'clock. It took place right in the vicinity of the Montego Bay Transport Center in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Now, here is what we are learning. A man, he's popularly known as Heartless. Heartless, he's said to be in his early 40s and he's the groundsman at a certain police station in the parish of St. James. This man, he's living in the parish of Westmoreland. So, we are learning that normally, when he leave work in the evenings, there is a shop right in the vicinity of the Montego Bay bus park. It is said that Heartless, he would go and play domino until he's ready to go home because the bus park, it is right there, so he would just jump on a taxi and go home. So, last night, Heartless, he and another man, they were playing domino when we are told that a hoodlum, he walked up behind Heartless, put a gun in the back of his head and BAM! One shot to Heartless' head. We are told that Heartless, he fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he made good his escape. We are told that Heartless, he was subsequently rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that it is likely that Heartless will survive based on the trajectory of the bullet. We are learning that when this crime scene was processed, one 9mm spent shell was recovered from the scene. Like we told you, one shot was fired directly into this man's head. Why may I tell you? The mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Are you so glued to your phone that up until now, you don't... Oh, you do it now. <laughs> yeah, man. Bless up on yourself. And if you are over here and you have not yet subscribed, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Me know it go, you know. Me know it go. Because sometimes, when even me, I listen about the video, if I don't hear myself reminding me, to hit on the love button. May I go forget the same way. So, we know how it go. Now, in the final story for today, we have obtained this video. You know YouTube's policy already. Certain things cannot be shown on YouTube. So, we have edited the video. We will not be showing you the man on the ground. But, take a look and take a listen to this. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. 
So that incident, it took place last night, Friday, September 9th, 2022, some minutes after 7 o'clock. It took place at the Travelers Paradise Bar at New Hope in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. You should know by now that Westmoreland is fast becoming the murder capital of Jamaica. Westmoreland around down St. James. So we are learning that that man on your screen, his name is Shemar Hamilton. He was 25 years old and he used to live at Gully Lane in the Waterworks area, but he was now living at New Hope District. In the Little London area in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that Shemar and other persons they were at the bar when two hoodlums and a motorcycle rode up and stopped at the bar. The hoodlums they came off the bike and it is said that both of them they went towards Shemar and was talking to him. It is said that one of the hoodlums he brandished a gun. Now Shemar he managed to grab onto the gun and a tussle ensued between him and the hoodlum with the gun. We are told that the other hoodlum, he pulled a knife which he used to inflict some wounds to Shemar. The other hoodlum, he then opened gunfire, hitting Shemar. Shemar, he collapsed and fell to the ground and the two hoodlums, they made good their escape on the said motorcycle. The police and the paramedics, they were called but it was too late for Shemar. He appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, two 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. Criminals, they 